morning, good evening, good night. Yeah. Welcome to the show, what a wonderful delight. Uh. Yeah, Patsy and T-Rods, better chop up on the mic. Just sit back, have a laugh, catch a vibe, and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Uh, known these guys for a really long time, you know, pretty much since you know, I started playing in the NBA. We have Patrick Patterson. Yes, sir. Then we have our good friends, coach slash trainer slash homie, big homie, <laughs> David Gale. How y'all been, man? How you been, DJ? We'll start off with you. How you been, dog? <laughs> I've been great. It's great to be back in uh, California. Back, back in stateside. Angeles. Back, yeah. Back out of Germany, but good, man. Enjoying working out outdoors. I feel out. that. I feel that. It's good to be back in L.A., back home, chilling with my wife, hanging out with my dog, being back in a familiar environment, man. Wait, you still have the dog. Uh, Nico? No, I ain't got Nino no more. Nino. I, got, I got Willow. I got a Willow now. Uh, no, I got a little Willow. small <laughs> toy Pomeranian, about like five pounds. I can respect that. I have, a, I, have I, a, I, have a, I have a mini poodle at home. His name's Louie. And you love Louis. I don't love you? him too. Exactly. I love, love that, that dog. You don't need a dog, dog bigger than twenty pounds. Why not? Hey, but that, that's always been Pat though. I want to keep Remember Nino? He, you treated you treated Nino like a actual <laughs> Nino was my boy. Like an actual that was, person. That was my boy. Was it was my times boy, we used bro. to go out in Toronto and I'd be like, Pat, let's go out tonight. And he'd be like, uh, I can't. I have to like go home to Nino. I was I just like, bro, it's a what? Straight I was from like, the game, straight home. Walk my boy for like an hour outside, kick it with him, and they go to sleep. Everyone's going out, partying, having a good time. I'm like, no, nah, I got my son at home. I got to go. I, what, type was was it? what type of dog was it? It was a French. Uh, French Bulldog. Oh, man. Yeah. Those are the best. Man. I can't, I can't be mad. That was the same time I got my dog. So yeah, we, we were you, texting yeah. about the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we were. Trying to go to the dog parks in Toronto. <laughs> Portland, <up. laughs> Portland and and, and You know, so yeah. you, see, you guys are just a little bit older than me, and then I kind of realized that I'm just on the same track you guys are, and I'm just experiencing <laughs> everything just a couple years later because I'm on the same wave, and it just feels weird. It this is was wild, never me. Yeah. I was always up. a young dude. Now I feel like I'm definitely not young. And and you always remind me of that shit all the time, man. Well, you've like, been older than me because, yeah, because your, your daughter is a little older than my son, so... You, and it, yeah, it is having the kid too. It makes you feel like we're getting to that stage of yeah, like doing dad things. Hold up, hold like, up. Like technically, you I'm older than today. you guys, in, in you know the grand scheme of life, because I I'm I'm a family man, family man. What, like you guys. <laughs> oh, I got I got two dogs. Does that not count? I have I two, two children dogs. and a Same. dog. <laughs> I have three dogs. <laughs> three. And I have yeah. two children <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm older. I have. A whole nother life experience, I feel like. I'm the Man, big dog now. You do. You I'm do. the big dog. Yeah, That's I love sure. this. Yeah, I can't say nothing. From that aspect, you got us. No, for sure. You hey, I've watched, you, I've watched you grow up, T. It's, it's great. It's great. It's from, from the time you were drafted to, to now, it's awesome. Makes me feel like, like a grandfather. Because you, <laughs> you kind of are. <laughs> you are. It's been a journey for sure, man. It's been fun. Just I'll from us it. having no kids to having similar paths of having the kids at the same time, man. Yeah. Wow. Jesus, bro. I never thought I'd... Oof. And now man, we're just yeah. saying dad stuff all the time. Like you said, we locked the car. We both look back just to check on it. Bro, like, it's all just those like dad jokes you see on like Instagram like, now? Mm -hmm. That's my life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You, you're going to be far. You're going to be right. Yeah, not too yeah. far off. Yeah, bro. Not too far off. Maybe another year. So how many kids would you... If, if you could have, like, your gold number? I want, like, you? five. You're tripping. Four, <laughs> five. Tripping. Four, five. <laughs> I, I want a big family, dog. I want to be, like, I want my wife to be, like, big mama. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama from Soul Food, all the kids oh, and all that shit. gathering at the house every Sunday dinner. I don't Christmas I, time, Thanksgiving, just have uh, like a whole bunch of runs running around. Everyone like, yo, Big Mama, <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> like that. That's what I want, dog. That's why I envision four or five, but it's probably only gonna be like one or two. How many girls and boys? What, what, what do you want that like, split? Like two girls, two girls, two boys, three girls, two boys. Yeah, bro, Actually, you're. Bro. Cool with that, bro. I'm telling you, big family. DG, what's up? Two. How many? Two. 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 Two? Two. 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 What do you want? You want one and one? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. A, a you know you want a boy. You know you want a boy. Yeah, a daughter is tough. Man, no, bro, a hey. daughter changes your life, Yo, bro, bro. How you see wait, stuff. Wait, I'm not going to lie. It's different. My daughter, like, my son is like me, mm -hmm. but my, my daughter is like my wife, yeah. and she, I just know she's going to take care of me. And she's very, <laughs> she's very smart. Mm -hmm. My son is like me. He's goofy. He's like just, he's silly. It he's just crazy. like, it's hard to get him to pay attention. So my yeah. daughter's on top of everything, bro. She yeah. does all the stuff he can't do right now. Like mm -hmm. she, she could, like right now she's riding scooters. She's, 
She like all the stuff we got him as a kid, like little bikes and all that. He can never ride to this day. He can't. She's using it in the house and she's going real fast. Like and she's what? She's only what three? No, she's two and a half. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's doing yeah. all that. The, two and a half. the girls are oh, way wild, bro. Man. Like she jumps off, way you know, couches and she bumps mm. her heads on things. She, you know, always in stuff, bro. She, she's wild. My son is very, you know, he's very laid back. He's goofy. He's just very easy going. And she's the opposite. And it's wild. And, but it's a good like girls are best, bro. They're gonna change your life. I'm telling you, yeah, they're good at the start, but yeah, yeah, when you I'm get like, to that middle that point? age, like 16 we're, we're not 15, there yet. We're not there. We're not there. We're not there yet. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, talking about bro. boys and boyfriends and all that stuff. Yeah, that's you why have to girls talk are tough. With bad, boy, bad boys too. You just picture that the scene the, with, with the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Will Smith when they open the door. <laughs> that's how. That's, uh, that's how it is. That's how it's gonna be for us at least. Man, talk to me about Terrence in in Toronto. You guys, what years was it when you guys were there? I was there before you. I think I didn't get there to like was it I was there before you. 2014. You were in sack when I first got there. I, I, I was I, I remember was you I remember you from pre draft. I came with Coach Casey when when okay. the lockout during the lockout yeah, year. So I was it. there twenty eleven to twenty seventeen. Uh yeah. Was that T Ross, I came in Quincy t- and Jonas were all rookies the same year, yeah? Right? Yeah. Yeah, because Jonas did yeah. that whole weird thing where he just didn't come over. But Right. Damn, bro, this all seems like a distance. But I have pre-draft yeah. with both of you because I had pre-draft with you with the Clippers. Yeah, we did have pre-draft out here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was trying to become a three-point shooter out there, shooting by himself the day before his workout. Money, breaking threes, <laughs> nothing but net. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I never, they were going in. Yeah, they were going. Yeah, in. but that's weird because when you got to the when you got to the Raptors. Yeah. I honestly, I thought you were just a big man. I thought you were like a Carl Malone style big man, just like low post. And then I you started shooting dude. threes, bro. Then you started drilling dude. threes, yeah. like after the trade happened. And I didn't think we were gonna go to the playoffs, and yeah. somehow we made it. I had no idea what the playoffs were. I had no had idea what the situation wild, I was going into. It was a wild season. Wild season. The next thing you know, oh, we're competing for that A spot. Oh, we just won uh, what team of the month or some something, something like that. Did we? Yeah, we won like team of the month. Like we won like. I think we only lost like two games in like the month of February or March wow. or something like that. We got like team. That's a month. great memory. I don't remember any of that. That was a good year. That was a really good year. <laughs> <laughs> psycho team. <laughs> I, I, I oh, psycho, psycho team was team. on the team, wasn't he? Grievous Vasquez. Shout out GV. He was my old school vet. Yeah, Chuck Hayes. John Big Salmon. Chuck. Chuck John, Salmon. John yep. Salmon's on yeah. that team. Wow. Right. You wasn't. No, 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 no. You were, you were with us when we had like when it's Clayza. Yeah. Aaron LK, Gray. Andrea Bargnani. Uh, yo, people hate on yo people. People hate Andrea. He, I don't know. He was a bucket. I tell people this all <laughs> the time, and they're like, "What the 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 what he he had like some tomato sauce kind of commercial. Everybody oh, hated man. him for it. Whatever sauce. it was, what was Whatever. it? It was the Canadian tomato sauce. Yo, and you, know, you know, he's not like he's not a really charismatic guy. He's not outgoing or anything. So when you see him on commercial, he's just like, isn't that making that weird face? So like, I can see why people didn't like him. He yeah. had game though. He had game. I remember it was games where he would score twenty in the first quarter, and then be like, "All right, my back hurts. Like, let me sit down or something." And then he would just go off and then that was just, that was the big knock. Like, was he just, it wasn't consistent. It wasn't. He wasn't a yeah. leader. Yeah, I remember. I remember Big Cat used to go at him every day. <laughs> big Cat. Yeah, I played with Big Cat. That's the oldest player I've ever played with in my my life, bro. Like, Jamal he, McGlure. Jamal. Yeah, <laughs> Jamal. Yeah, no, he was bro. How old he, was he? It was his last. He didn't even make it out the training camp. Yeah, he just like after like running sprints, like he just. But no, he was down. on the roster the whole year, wasn't he? He was, yeah. no, for sure. But he, he was, was just like he just. But do you remember he tried to jump the the gate, between the the tunnel? So remember the tunnel in Toronto, they put the gate up. No, okay. the visiting team went right and we went left. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And the end of the game with uh, Brandon Jennings, Jamal and and B Jennings were talking. And they were, <laughs> they, he almost jumped, Brandon Jennings almost jumped the gate to go chase down uh, Big Cat. <sighs> I do not remember this like either, a grown bro. Grown-ass man and a little kid fighting each other. <laughs> have, yeah. you, like, so have you ever seen any fights in the league? Any fights in the league? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't say fights. I've just seen people swing one time and miss. Scuffles. And then people like, yeah, a little scuffle like yeah. that. But like a full-blown fight in the league? No, I ain't never seen one. I've seen no. people swing. Like, it seemed like what Surge swinging someone. Are you talking Seems, about this games? Songs uh like Steven right. Adams or like people like get swung at. Swung at and, yeah, nothing, and then happens. nothing happens. So like no practice fights, nothing? Not even oh Sacramento. Like Sac? What I like do what Demarcus what, uh, Boogie, huh? Marcus. Who was it? Marcus uh, Wait, were you with James Johnson too? JJ was there. Yeah. Wait, so I did hear hear something about uh both of them. And they were in the uh 
So I probably wasn't there when that oh, happened, okay, but okay. I know when I was there, JJ and Demarcus ain't fight. It was all yeah. like Boogie and like the coaching staff, and then yeah. <laughs> a couple yeah. players like got into it. But like that's probably like the real fist fight that I've seen is like in a locker room. Yeah, with Sack, but like in a game, like no, nah, I ain't never seen that yet. BG, I'm I know you had to see that. at least one fight. Are we not that old yet? Are we not there to where we can talk about these? In a in a game? Yeah, no in a fight. game or practice, whatever. I mean, there's the classic Tyler Hansbro where he realized we're on our test was behind him. That, I and was he there said, for that. Wait, he what? apologized <laughs> for it. You remember that? <laughs> 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 I didn't there's see this. There's a video of that. Bro. Yeah, so what happened? So this is, you know, like Ryan at this point had already had that, that stigma and that reputation just being a tough guy. Mm -hmm. He's kind of losing it sometimes. And so, and Psycho T at this point has had the, he's had the reputation as being like super emotional and just like going super hard. And then that's what happened. It, I think he had went up for like, you know, a little layup or whatever. He got fouled from behind. And you know, when he gets fouled, he gets a little over, you know, reactive and he goes like, Ugh! so he did all that and turned around and saw it, it was, it was Ron. And then he like, like his whole demeanor oh, just changed. Bad. He my was bad. like, oh, oh <laughs> like, like he bad. fouled my him bad, or something. So sorry, I was just dog. like, yeah. But no, nah, bro, well, there's been fights. I've seen like, uh, I mean, Aaron Afalo. Y'all probably, y'all probably don't remember this. Aaron Afalo and, um, was this Bielitsu. Orlando? Yeah, in Orlando yeah, a few years yeah, back. Yep. So uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, bro. And, and this is like Aaron's, I think it was like what maybe his last year. And we were in the game, and I was on the bench too, so I'm like watching all this happen. He was sitting next to me, and, you know, he just, you could tell he just wasn't into the game. So he gets into he gets into the game, checks in, and then you know like those guys that kind of just play kind of overly hard. And, like a Jonas, you know, he kind of mm -hmm. throws elbows mm -hmm. in me too. That happened. Like Bill Lisa kind of boxed him out real hard, and he kind of like shoved him out the way. And so on his way down, you know, he kind of looked a little upset. So he kind of ran, and he's trying to, like, bump into him. And it was, like, another rebound type of thing. So he bumped into him, but he didn't move. And then he, like, faced up to him, and then Aaron just loaded up and just swung. And and if he would have – and if this dude didn't, like, move back, he this dude would have knocked him clean the fuck out. Like, he would have been out cold. And then all of a sudden he just – couple more swings and then it broke it up and it was, but that's like the closest thing I've seen to a fight yo it's crazy like out of all the years especially like what the past 10 years I've been in the league like every single time a confrontation happens whether it's a fight whether someone's swinging it's like no one ever really makes that contact no to hit someone in the face well, we're not trained to we're not trained to but like if you out on the street and you get into a brawl with someone like you're gonna hit them in the face it's gonna happen it's, it's gonna happen if you out in the streets and you get in the scuffle, you are gonna hit someone in the face. But, but like when you're on the court, context, though, and then like, like literally like you standing like right next to someone, like right in front but, of them. But you know when you and you swing, you always miss. No, you but, always miss. No but, one ever gets contact. But you yeah. kind of know that like when you're in a game, that you're gonna have like real consequences. Regardless, you know that you're and you don't want to really want to hit nobody. I think that's what goes through people's heads because you don't want to hit them. That's I what mean, you're thinking you don't want to hit them. No. I, I ain't never been in this situation, uh, one. But at the same time, you would think, like, it's either that or people just really are not. They can't swing. They can't punch. They just have never been in a fight. I don't know. You get some credit to the player that's getting punched. They they do tend to make they a dodge. quick move. They keep a quick move. Quick little dodge. Because you kind of already got your adrenaline rushing from the game and everything. And you're – in a street fight, you could be on – you could be drunk. You could and be that, – and, and, and that's, that's, and that's, that's you get, that's that's other, you get that's clocked. You're like, oh, fam. And then you if know. I'm in like, a game, like, I'm already, like – In a I'm game, I'm getting fouled. I understand I'm getting fouled. If you outside a bar, the dude is picking a fight. Mm. That is a little different. Now you, it's a, it's it, a little different. It just like the most recent, like it happened to you. You got, you got a, a flagrant foul oh for it. Oh my god! In the bubble, oh, that was ridiculous, up. right? That was ridiculous. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so, <laughs> so who yeah, was it? It was yeah, Middleton. It was, it was Chris. Yeah, he tried to like he got he got upset. Now, okay, so I didn't even realize that he was even that mad. Like I thought mm. it was just because it wasn't that bad. Because like yeah, cause, no, it wasn't that. I made a play for the ball. It just and I didn't I didn't swing hard. Like if I understand if I would like hit him with my forearm on his face and he would have kind of went back. Okay, my fault. I did something. I made a hard foul, and then we, my my teammate had just got fouled just two seconds ago. So I was already upset at that. We're losing. So you can't you can't give me a fucking foul on that, bro. Flagrant. That's not bad. Like there ain't been. I don't know, man. But that's why there's no fights because. Because that's a flagrant foul now, so nobody wants no. One, you get if you hit somebody now, you're gonna get a ten game suspension. Yeah, at least b before the ref steps in, before the bench is clear, before security gets on the court, you have that window to make contact with. Somebody. Yeah, that and you honestly, have a window. Honestly, bro, and it never happens. I don't think <laughs> people swing and always miss. The NBA security, like you know, every team has like the security guard. Nine times out of ten, possibly ten times out of ten, 
they're just going to get hurt themselves going out there. If it was a fight to break out, because mm. I know the guys that work from our team, they're old, retired cops. Mm. You think John Altilly is going to get hurt? He's not going to be able to keep up. <laughs> he's not going to be able to keep up. If y'all I, don't know I John, love John. Yeah, I love John. He's, <laughs> my, he's one of my favorite people <laughs> for the Raptors. Yeah. He ain't going to keep up, bro. He going to be out of breath. <laughs> and you can mm-hmm. just push him over, bro. You can just push him down. Top heavy. Yeah. He top heavy. All right, so if y'all, so <laughs> John, they're calling you out here. That's uh, not me. Nah, so look, look <laughs> shout out John to you. But uh, if y'all had to give, there's a, we always kind of have that conversation, like who's the toughest basketball player out there, and it's always that talk. But we, I feel like we all have our mind made up. If I was asking y'all this, but who do y'all think is the toughest NBA player out there, like fighting wise, anything? If you just didn't want to get in a fight with this guy, oh, all day, JJ, JJ, all day. Were James? you a judge? Yeah. All oh. day, James yeah. Johnson. James Johnson. All day. And, they, <laughs> and, and it's weird because everybody always says, like, you know, like, oh, Boogie's a cousin. Or uh, Boogie's a oh, Boogie. cousin. Sorry, they say Boogie's a bully. Mm-hmm. They say, who else, who else has, like, that fake tough guy stigma? I don't know. I feel like it's a tough. I feel like it's, like. Yeah, they, I feel like At the end of the day, I feel like there's a lot of guys that just kind of, like, a little more bark. Mm-hmm. I feel like you don't hear nobody talk any shit about James Johnson. Or no, Zebo. No Zebo before he retired. Yeah, Zebo too. Zebo super. I yeah. was with Zebo for for half a season with the Clippers. That's a tough dude. Yeah, he he bro. I remember because he, he was in Portland. Like he was in no. bro. I remember he was in Portland. I was a little kid growing up in Portland. We would see him like in the yeah. neighborhood. Like we would see him just like on the block sometimes. I'm just like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. And I was like, <laughs> and it was weird. Like when I got into the league, I, I we were like at the free throw line or whatever. And he said something to me like, "Yo, what's up? Like you from Portland, right?" I remember seeing you at the barbershop, and that was like. Oh shit! Like, <laughs> damn, he yeah, actually remember that. That went a long way. Ever since I was like a big Zebo fan, hmm. so I was like, shit. That, he's a t- he's a tough guy, but James, bro. Do you say James? Do you say James knows like martial arts or something? Yeah, yeah. James is like a. Okay, that I mean that is MMA. A, yes, that's yeah. What, were you there that. when James did that backflip in Memphis? Yeah, I was like, yeah, yes. bro. Just we we've been working out. We were just we just finished practice. Yeah. Guys were shooting around. We stayed a little longer. Played like one on one or whatever. Yeah, we're just walking off the court, and he was just like, "Yo, y'all want to see me do a backflip?" And I was like, "What are you, what are you talking about?" And then the motherfucker, I was like, "Let me get my phone out if you're really being serious." Yeah. He's like, "All right, cool." He just takes one step, does a backflip, lands on his feet, and just walks off, bro. The yeah. craziest thing I ever yeah. saw him do was standing flat foot, one foot on the ground. He kicked the net with his other foot. What? I, that, I I've seen it, bro. It, I've man. seen him put the the basketballs in there. He put like three basketballs in there, and they'll get stuck, and he'll jump up and kick them out, bro. Yeah. And like James Johnson is like what he's six eight. Mm-hmm. He's like six eight. I don't know. He could be anywhere from two Samoan forty to two sixty. Like, bro. yeah, bro, and he's different. Like I've been to his house and his brothers. You remember Duck and Trey? Yeah, yeah, brother. Like, they're all kind of the same, bro. They're all like super diesel, yeah. like mm-hmm. built guys. And I've been over to the house and we'll just be playing video games or something. And they just break out, start wrestling, like doing like. MMA <laughs> shit. Right yeah, there on the carpet, right and there I'll the just floor. sit in the corner like, just please don't let me get pulled into this. Like, just please don't <laughs> let me get pulled over there. But, like, they be doing crazy shit. He be, and he used to tell me, like, all his MMA background. Like, his dad mm-hmm. used to, like, train as, like, one of the Gracies or something. So That's wild. He had, like, fucking some serious training, bro. So that was, like, yeah. the one guy. If I seen, like, and it's likely, like, JJ's my boy, bro. So, like, no matter <laughs> what, like, I'll, he's always going. He's on your that, side. He, yeah, he's on my side. I mean, look, yeah, I like, working you guys out, yeah. guarding you with, like, the pads on. Oh, yeah. JJ. Physical. And Jonas <laughs> are two of the strongest dudes I've ever had. To, Jonas like, just be using them elbows. elbows he just be banging into people. Using them elbows. He's an yeah. JV be using them elbows, <laughs> man. Jesus. You can't move him, though. You can move JV. He just got them elbows, man. Nah, you can't. Nah. You can move JV. <laughs> You not moving JV. I'm moving JV. Get the fuck. You don't Guaranteed. even be on the post. That's not even you no more, bro. That's Get out always of here. me, no matter what. No matter what. I move whoever. You have you post. haven't played <laughs> post player since Huntington. No, probably since like since OJ Mayo was giving you bounce Houston. passes in the post and you're just no, I was in the post them. in Houston. That's probably the last time. The Sacramento, man. After that, it's just been nothing but perimeter. I think I might have dunked on you one time in Houston. You've never dunked on me. I remember my f- I remember my entire list. You definitely ain't on that list. Give us some of those lists. Who 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 got you? Ooh, Let's see. Yeah, LeBron got me. KD got me. Ooh, that, you have a that's starting Ooh, off pretty bad. Uh, Keem Ward got me. Ooh. KD got you in Toronto. Hmm? KD got you in Toronto. Yeah, KD. That that like double overtime game. Stephen Adams. Oh, I got, got hurt me that game. I got hurt bit. that game. I got hurt that game. <laughs> Stephen yeah. who? Stephen Adams got me a little bit. He he low key has bounce. He he low key has bounce. He's athletic. Low key athletic. I mean, at least you're trying because mm-hmm. we looked up his list of who's dunked on him. No, he, he doesn't even try. You don't no, try he gets to block out shots, the way. Bro. Yeah, he gets out you the way. You don't try to block shots. 
<laughs> that's not what y'all pay me to do. You got bounced. But then you also bang on people. So if you can get what up, what the just hell pick. does that have to Who's do? Who's the last person you banged on? That's not me no more. I dunk when it's safe. There's anymore. no way else. No, you I'm in do 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 hey, my I shoot threes, bro. <laughs> my six years in Toronto, you two had two of the nastiest dunks. Surprisingly, you. What do you yeah, mean surprised? They had a tip dunk. I had a dunk. No, no, no. In Miami. In Miami. Oh, I dunked on Hassan. The sneak attack. Remember that? Yeah, chest to chest. What's his, Freed? Yeah. All day, Freed. In Denver. Freed. All yeah. day. All day. I never felt like that was my All best day. dunk. How do you not feel know. that was your best dunk? Bro, that's know, ridiculous. Bro. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've seen it so many times. And people, that's all they talk about. What about the What about the tip dunk? Yes. In Toronto. On was JJ. it on JJ? On JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick. Yeah. Yes. That was that's bad. on JJ Reddick, though. Yeah, yeah, but it was. No disrespect to JJ. But that's Freed. like dunking on DG. Yeah. That's nothing. First of all, I think it was Aaron followed in and boxed me out. Yeah. And then... JJ was just like, oh, I'm going to get a free rebound. It was still pretty good, though. Yes, yeah, so yeah, it was not bad. For sure. I had a couple, yeah. I, I, be, I definitely don't do that as much anymore. <laughs> I don't know. No, you really don't. I don't. You like, just come into the game and shoot like eight threes. Just Contested, yes, hand you, in your face, at least. Hey, all right, person hey, right hey, in hey, front no, of hey, you. Hey, I, I, I've always time. been curious about this. Can you kind of like, what, what was the scouting report on me? The scouting report on you was make them drive. Like, because every time you come off a screen, you're shooting it. Like 99.9% of the time. You and y'all knew it, right? Down. We knew it. Guys are literally standing in contact face to face with you. Miss a foul, hand up, run into and you shooting it every time. You love that right to left crossover, a little hezzy yes, crossover, yes. pull up around the elbow, that's two point from, shot. That's for high school. Like, yo, make him drive and get to the basket because he ain't, like you said, he ain't dunking it like he used to anymore, right? So just contest. That's home. But like, if he, get, if he gets a three <laughs> and he shoots that and makes it in front of you, oh yeah, you coming out the game. But nine times out of 10, they kept him in the game. I, I feel like Doc. I've always wanted to know what Doc's uh, scouting report on me because I had 50. And that was like, and it was crazy because yeah, I, that. I know for a fact. You missed that free throw. <laughs> I know, but then, then DeMar, DeMar broke it already, so it doesn't matter. Or Kawhi or somebody. I don't know. I don't have it, though. DeMar did. DeMar broke it. Yeah. yeah. He had 52, I think. <laughs> but, nah, bro, but, I mean, I don't know. I just always so curious because I didn't, I for sure knew I wasn't on that scouting report before that game. He said it after the game that you yeah. weren't on the scouting report. And that's, and yeah. <laughs> And yes. it was humbling for a little bit, but I was like, I did. And ever since then, I've been cool with him. He always says what's up to me. So I was like, damn. Like, I always wanted to play for Doc just for that one reason. Just because I felt like I had some little uh, little connection with him. Yeah, you were unconscious that game. Yeah, bro. I didn't, and that was okay. wild, too. DeMar got okay. hurt. And then Kyle was kind of like, and Kyle was kind of like, I don't even feel like playing. Yeah, Kyle was in chill mode. Yeah, he was in chill mode. He wasn't yeah. trying to play, so. Shit, you got that same and mentality now, man. I, you watch, but you watch those highlights now. Now it's like, damn, you're coming. If you get a breath of, of air there, you're going up. But oh, from yeah, like sure. from from my side of it, like that's one thing. Like people, like you guys see it, like all these workout videos online. Like guys just you know creating names yeah. for work for for drills and this yeah. and that. Like with you, we used to work on that. Like Coach Casey gave me this is what we want to work on. Yeah. Let, get him to really jump as high as possible on his jump shot. Nah, it was, uh, it was uh it was uh did you ever work with uh Alex uh what we call him? McKetney. Alex uh, McKetney. You ever so, work with him? Nah, and do like the the what was that thing? Oh that core X. The core yeah, X. The core X. Bro, thing. you was here with me when I had it when he used to come to yeah. the workouts, yep. I would fucking <laughs> I was there too. I was there too. Bro, I would be dude, walking down on I would be getting mad. I'll be doing this type yes. of shit for twenty minutes. I'm like this ain't gonna help me shoot, bro. Like I'm not fucking doing. It. Hey, but it helped though. It it did help. Like it always oh, kept me kind of sure, conscious bro. of like my balance. So it did help. So shout out Silver Fox. <laughs> shout out to the Silver Fox. Silver Fox. <laughs> Alex McKetney. Damn. Shit. That's so what's wild. going on, man? What's new? What We're out the new, bubble. Man? We are out the oh, bubble. Yeah, back in bubble. real life, man. Back you back in, in real life. You haven't gotten a haircut yet. since you left the bubble. I've not got a haircut yet. You're still in chill mode. What's the point? I'm not. I'm at the house every day. So what's the point getting a haircut? I'm around my wife. Unloading boxes into the new crib, like what's going on? Yeah, he just bought that new house. I might house. as well go like Damn. another month or two without getting a haircut, man. So I ain't you like, so I, nobody. Wait, so are you moved in, moved in? Or are you so like we moved in, moved in, but we got like boxes and stuff we just got to unload, right? But we got the furniture, the TV, internet, cable, all that stuff set up. So it's just like <sighs> knickknacks. So you really don't want to leave the house right now? No, what's the point? I got a theater, boy. I'm in the theater watching movies all day. Oh, you're a football hey, Sundays, movie buff. bro. Out in the pool all day long, chilling. Come back inside, fix a sandwich, grab a beer, go right back outside. <laughs> you're such a country boy. That's I don't know it. what you're doing out here. Who's that's the football it, team? Who's your football team? Baltimore Ravens. Hey, don't say nothing about last a, year. That's a, that's a squad. It's wait, wait, year. why? Uh, ain't you from Carolina? No, I'm from West Virginia, dog. So it's like West Virginia. You either Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh fan, mom and dad. So my mom's side of the family's DC. So they're all Redskins fans. Pops, why, uh, no, 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 no. Pops Washington Carolina. football team. 
Washington football team. There we go. There we go. We won't, we won't go there. I apologize. <laughs> and Pops from Carolina, so they all Panthers Panther fans. Panther. So I'm like, yeah. Hey, so I just picked Which the Bucks. One? I just picked the Bucks as like the, the hometown team. I just picked them. I just picked them. So what happened to last year? He I didn't have a team. He's not a team. So, I've never had a team. So, so why do you have a team this year? What about the Seahawks? I've never, know, I'm not. Right here. Seahawks so right so here. why would you right. say Seahawks? Because you're from Portland area. Okay, but there was, I didn't, we didn't watch football, though. There was no football. Like, Who's we? It wasn't. Oh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You. So, he, so, he, was, <laughs> he, was born, he was born in Seattle. That's why he was. He grew up there. I'm a big Seattle guy. Big whatever. I, didn't, I grew up here in L.A. until I was, like, what, 12? And then I moved to, like, the Northwest. So here we didn't have a football team. It was only Lakers. And then I moved out there. It was pretty much people of the Blazers. So I still love the Lakers, so there was no football. All right, so if Tom Brady had stayed in Boston, <laughs> would you still be a Bucs fan? I still got these bandwagon you you know, still be questions, so I will answer that. So I picked the Bucks because that's the closest team to where I, I – like I said, I just bought a house in Florida. It looks like it's about to be a long-time permanent residence, mm-hmm. for at least for now. So I was like, okay, what team should I pick? What's the closest team? It's Tampa. Is it – Tom Brady happened to play for my team. So what do you want from me? Like, well, how far away is Tampa? And, and, and we got – it's like 45, 50 okay, minutes. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. No, we've been Season out. Season tickets? Okay. No. So now I got ties to people. I have oh, I have yeah, a teammate yeah, yeah. that – not a teammate. I have somebody I went to college with that plays for them. Mm-hmm. I, Sue. Sue. Uh, yep. Uh, hometown uh, yeah, hometown that's our hero. Boy. That's our guy. Sue. Dominican Sue. He's from Portland. Mm-hmm. Um. What? Uh, who? Else? I know Mike Evans a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "You're oh, really okay, stretching it, it there. Makes You're sense. stretching. You're really stretching <laughs> that there, bro." I got. Uh, it it, it just makes Evans, sense. I know, I it know just him. it just make it makes sense. sense. Like I didn't know who else. I, who else? Like you just want to follow Tom Brady. It's yeah, okay, that's man. it. Plain it's so good. good. It's no. okay though. It's okay. I almost picked Jacksonville. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll like, I thought about Miami. Two years. In two years, when Tom Brady's no longer there, we'll see. I have commitment, bro. I'm not. I'm no for real. Like I have. Three, I had, look, four, I, got, five. I got the team app. I got the Buccaneers team app. I'm, I told the wife we all getting jersey. She's with me. She's like, okay, cool. Tom Brady, my son, saying like, oh, look, there's Tom Brady, number twelve to go. Like he loves it. Like we're jersey, we're, we're making a commitment. Get, are you gonna get a custom? T- I'm gonna get a suit jersey for the town. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get a suit. Okay. I'm gonna get a Mike Evans. I was gonna say, if you went with like Brady, then it would be like okay, we're, we're <laughs> for sure. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get a Brady, but mm. Mike Allstock, Mike Allstock yes. jersey. That's awesome. Yeah, go old school. old school. Get okay. a John Gruden coach's jersey. Y'all get a Gruden, um, what, you had a visor? Man, Signed visor? Champs, bro. That shit was wild. See, we know about that. My wife knows about it. I told him about the <laughs> Super Bowl champs. Okay. Yeah, I told him about it. Ago. It doesn't matter. We have to know something. We have to know a little real. bit, whatever. Yeah. You don't have a team. 49ers. Really? Yeah, Ooh. same thing. I grew, up, I grew up here. There was no team, right? So... My cousin was a 49ers fan, so yeah. as a kid, I 49ers. You might as well go ahead and chop this season up as a L. Man, yeah, that's why. Yesterday. It was that's a tough why. day yesterday. got the injury bug. Tough day three yesterday. Three people. Y'all done. No, know, Garoppolo, sucks. the Did running back. Know? Yeah, but and, uh, Bosa. Bosa's the worst one. Yeah. I know, yeah. bro. Sad. That sucks. I know. And then, and then, you know, when I was in Toronto, they were in the Super Bowl. Oh, they lost. And yeah, Ru- yeah. we had Rudy, who's also a Ravens fan. Mm-hmm. And Yeah, that was a crazy year. Yeah, that was not, I mean, it's a pass interference. What? The pass interference. They would have threw. Wait, that was the year the lights went out. Yeah, Beyonce lights went out. They did that on purpose to try to give y'all some momentum. Crabtree got a pass interference. They didn't call on the last play of the game. They would have called. It's always some janky calls and that that (laughs) goddamn or what? What's Mercedes Superdome? Whatever the fuck it is out there. There's always bad, horrible, terrible calls in that in that stadium. That's true. It's probably still to come. And it doesn't help the NFC West is nice this year. Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. Arizona's a lot better than people are. You yeah, know, giving them credit for the Arizona. Seahawks look solid. That was a crazy game yesterday. Yeah. yeah Shout Ram. out to Cam Newton. He's looking good, too, though, man. Shit, I'm a Cam right. fan. I just wanted to do well, bro. Yeah. I've been cheering on. I was I was hoping they won yesterday. We were watching that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Do y'all watch UFC? No, right? Not too much. Not this too much. This guy's obsessed with it. He man. wants to do jujitsu. Yeah. What? I'm yeah, gonna, t- tell him about that. Tell him about your I wouldn't own. do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, bro. Um, nah, I've been getting back in the UFC. I got like teammates that are into it. Like Evan Fournier, he, actually, his dad's like a judo master. Mm-hmm. And not, I don't know if he's a judo master, but he used to like compete in like the Olympics and shit. And he grew up doing it. And then like, so he watches you or he watches a ton of MMA shit. UFC Michael is Carter big. Williams. It's big in Europe. Yeah. It's really so big like, in yeah. And MCW, like he 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 kind of goes to a ton of fights. He knows some fighters, so he's always doing shit. So. I was I started watching it in the bubble. There was a couple big fights in the bubble, mm-hmm. and that kind of got me into it. Actually, when, when I first got to Toronto for the first two years, John Jones had two championship fights in Toronto that I went to. Did you go to that yeah. fight? No. I the second there. year? I wasn't there yet. 
Oh, okay. No, I, I definitely went. I went there when there was there was a UFC fight. I forgot which one it was. That was John Jones. There. Yeah, that no, was. It was another year. Oh, another year. Mm-hmm. It was after that. Okay. Okay. It was after that. I don't think you were there anymore. Ouch. Okay, but cool. Uh, <laughs> you but no, nah. but yeah. So I've been getting back into it. And I'm just trying to. And so when I got back, um, I think I'm about to try out this little. You're too Virginia. skinny for that, man. Don't hurt yourself. I'm saying. Tell him about the skinny dudes. And <laughs> he has. He has. You, you, I mean, you just got to be flexible, man. Yeah, bro. You got to really work on that. I Come guess. on, though. I, am I not one of the most athletic guys y'all know? I'll be straightening. Just I just got to learn it, bro. Combine so, yoga. Do some yoga yes. so you get stretched. I can't. Out. I, I know. Because I know, they're gonna actually. have you tied up in some weird <laughs> shit. Yeah. You're gonna be like, ah, get me out. <laughs> Tower. And this <laughs> comes from the experience of from who now? You guys uh, just never even heard of I watch videos, but yeah. Yeah, we see highlights. I watch videos. No, I, I hope you do it, man. <laughs> Trust me, I want you to try it out. It'll be great. All content. right, well, let's get some hey, video. Hey, of it hey, too. Hey, let's get some video. Some video. The next time y'all come on, two years from now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna fuck one of y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put, put y'all on a fucking guillotine or something. Yeah, and y'all I'm talking about you. yeah. You're gonna be doing kamoras. I'm gonna be on my fucking just all over the place. Fucking yellow belt talking shit. That's good. Hey, jujitsu. I need to do something. I, I just want to do something different. Yeah, have some different. have some hobbies outside of basketball. It's great. All right, so, I, I want to talk to you about movies because you're a big movie buff. Have you seen the movie Tenet? Not yet. Oh, you know, you know. I'm trying to, but it's just I don't know if I should go to a theater right now. I don't know. They're not even I'm open in L.A. Theaters aren't open. Not in L.A. Really? Oh, no, yeah, not a single sucks, one. Our picks ain't open. Not know. only is that movies in Florida over there, they're serving food. They're having good times out there. We saw Tenant in theaters. Yeah, it was, you know, it was, uh, what? I, it was, it was whatever. Well, okay, so what's like the last movie you saw that you would recommend? Last movie I saw that I would recommend. Oh, bro, I ain't been to the movie theaters in such a long time. I'm so there's nothing but watching like Amazon and Hulu and Netflix. Yeah, because the they, they didn't that's have it. like all that. They didn't have that on in the, in the bubble for that. You nah. guys didn't have smart TVs. They gave yeah. us like a fire stick. Yeah, they gave us like a fire but stick. But like, bro. that's not, that's not. And like then you, like watching a bunch of old movies, man. That, that's yeah. it. Like what? The new Mulan. You seen that? Yeah. Fucking trash. Awful. Bro. It's, it's trash. <laughs> it's not because every other sense. Disney movie, it's trash. every other it's Disney movie is like a, a scene for scene recreation. I need the live animation too. of like they you know took the, the music movies. out. They took, they yeah, took right, Eddie yeah. Murphy out. They yeah. took yeah. all of it. She was already like, yeah. And she already knew all of her moves before she got there. That was the whole thing of the first one. Like I didn't even make it that far. It was that bad. There was no. There was no. What was it? It it wasn't Mushu. You ain't finished. You ain't finished the movie. No, fuck no. It was bad. Damn. It was really bad. Yeah, he's that type of guy. Shit, you start something, you don't finish. A bad movie? Can I get some slack? Jesus. No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but but Pat's like Pat. Pat I know Pat was always. You were always throwing, you know, movie screenings. Screenings. Pat presents all the time. Always in Toronto. On the road, you're always watching weird, scary movies in his room. With the everything closed, with by the himself off in the dark. Wait, Pat watch presents? scary movies. You, you, by had, you had screenings Pat where presents. just at your house? No, 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 no at movie theater. <laughs> oh, you like had like legit. You, he would have, have all the, legit yeah. screenings, bro. Yes. Like it was a movie theater, red carpet, just for us players That's and like dope. friends, family, couple yeah. fans. That's dope as fuck. Oh, you did. You, you screened forty two, right? Was that you, or was that just the team? That was just team. Okay, okay. team of forty two. Yeah, no, nah, but like, that's too, that's what'd uh, you screen? Give us, give us some of the ones you screen. Like a quiet place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I screened that one too. That was actually uh, pretty good. I'm uh, wait. I can't wait for the second one. Can't wait for the second one. Yeah, some Liam Neeson's joints. Yep, so many Liam Neeson joints. Man, like the, the list is countless all throughout the years of Toronto for like what was there for like yeah, four or five years of, like yeah, that. Yeah, a ton, ton of them bro. at least like at least once a month. At Who, least once a month, man. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite director then? That you just oh Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, yeah. You're so bougie, bro. How's that bougie, bro? <laughs> You're so bougie. James like, Wan. Like, shall I go old school? Steven Spielberg? Like, what? Like, you what? heard I some bougie, celebrities bro. say that at one of these fancy some dinners some you went someone to. Someone say that name. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a nice name. I'm going to remember that's exactly that. That's exactly what happened. I'm going to remember that name. Like, nah. Yeah. That's great. Come on, man. No, you got, you got, you have really good, you know, movie taste. I mean, this I guy, look, he took me to four or five Tiff. movies for yeah. Tiff. With the Tiff. Yeah, We yeah, saw Tiff, some bad bro. ones, too, that we sat through. <laughs> yeah, we did see some bad. No, you, you. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. You, you kind of the reason why I'm kind of into movies as much as I am today because, like, you kind of took you, you. I think I went to Tiff with you one year. We went to see one movie. What movie is that? I think it had Johnny Depp. It was Black Mask. No, Black Mask. It's Black Mask. It's Black Mask. Black Mask. Yeah, Damn. that shit was dope. That was a dope. I can't ass remember. Movie. I remember that just now. That was a dope ass <laughs> movie. Black that's, Mask that's was a, it. Yeah, and they came and spoke afterwards. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And Johnny mm-hmm. Depp looked like he was just off his. Meds or something. He looked, he looked bad. Yeah. He looked high shit. There's some. Yeah. There's some good. I mean, you took me to see Carter Effect. 
The Carter. Yeah, I felt like we had to see that though. Yeah, like, you had to see that. I didn't see that too. This, this past year, you had to see yeah, that. it's all right. I mean, what did okay. y'all think about the uh, the last dance? It was uh, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. That's yeah, it. that's right when shit was kind of long now. It. it it served its purpose during that time. Like yeah, we needed time. something to watch. We needed something to keep us busy. Bro, twenty twenty has been so fucked up, bro. There's been so much shit. Like you kind of. It's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse, man. Is this what? This ain't even wood. wood. It's gonna get worse. Like some crazy shit's about to happen again. What month we in right now? September. September. Wait for October. Pat, don't tell me you in the conspiracies. Tell you October something, something crazy. You were telling me about something that happened in October here. This guy's on conspiracies. I'm I'm going on conspiracy uh, podcast. uh, What tomorrow? Today. Oh shit! Yeah, today. Wow. Conspiracy podcast. Yeah, Tim Foil podcast. It's crazy. So anyway, what's gonna happen in October? I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, break it down for us. You so you believe something's gonna happen in October? Yes. You think a natural disaster? I don't know. Something's gonna happen. I mean, these earthquakes or something. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, that guy these earthquakes or something. I mean, I don't know, bro. I somebody said something about like some astrologer reading something about like you know this, something how the stars are aligning and some mm. all this next shit. And so far, this guy's done some shit like this before and hasn't been wrong. And he said some shit crazy is gonna happen in October. Yeah. yeah. See that. It's that. weird that you're saying that. that. This is one thing I love about hanging out with professional athletes. You guys have too much time on your damn hands. Oh, so you have so you much stuff read. to read. You got to read. Yeah, you got Sheep. so much stuff to read. <laughs> Sheep. You mind, right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I was, you just have to be a little more open, bro. Hey, I'm open to it. I it's just, 2020. You might as well be open. You see all the crazy shit that's happening? Yeah. This should be the shit that makes you, I was you know, with Gilbert Arenas start. a couple days ago, and he's got some crazy conspiracy theories about the virus and where it came from and yeah. how it's spreading. Oh and fuck! Definitely believe that. that man. Believe that man. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. What's, yeah. What do you? What conspiracies no. are you? It no. sounds I don't, like I, you I don't want to do this right now, bro. I this, is like gonna, <laughs> this is not. This is gonna drive know, me like crazy. Something is just like yeah, off, off. Something's just off, and I'm like, something's about to like. Epic it's it's 2020. 2020 is epic proportions is gonna happen. Shaking October. your faith, and now you're rattled a little bit, <laughs> and you're talking about October, and so who knows what's gonna happen? I hope I hope not though. Then we got the election in November. It's a wild time, man. Okay, so on that topic, because we <laughs> were talking about it before, when do you think next season is going to start? Oh, yeah. Damn. Wh- I heard, like, February. Yeah. You heard February? I would say, like, the earliest February. That's what I'm telling you, bro. But the yeah. last I heard was mid- mid-January. mid I think that was somebody January. very hopeful. But, yeah, like yeah. I said to you, everyone's guessing. Yeah, Everybody's guessing. guessing. Yeah, but and what are they going to do? Just no fans and just go arena? I think fans? they're going to try to transition us out of the bubble. I think to. we're going to do the bubble again. I think, we, if anything, they, they're probably going to set up like a. Because f- from what I was just told from people who were speculating that they're going to try to many set up, do mini bubbles, yeah. and then you'll be in the bubble for a little bit, then leave the bubble and be out until you got to go to crazy. the next bubble. That's crazy. So, I see that. and then they're saying, I mean, hopefully we could do that and then transition that into like people coming back into the arenas. Right. And then we just kind of just go from there. We'll probably be on a new schedule from then on out. So that's what I'm not feeling. So I'm like, if we do best case scenario, let's say best case scenario, yeah. like the season resumes around like January. Yeah. I'm like that shit needs to end. We need to do like what, sixty games. Like we need to end 50 in June games because I ain't trying to play all throughout the summertime. Why? Like, and then you, our summers yeah. is over. Like I, I enjoy my summer, dog. Yeah. But you might enjoy winter, right. like winter at home, like being at home Why with Christmas, like Christmas at home, bro. We got families. Like Christmas at home would be dope. We don't oh, got. We I, don't had, I had Christmas at home, so I was cool. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Clipper Boy. Sorry, Mister. We get good, national bro. TV games every at fucking the crib, year. Opening presents, and you know what? Th- that's where they're gonna be for cool. a little while longer. Okay, so I like I'm saying, we that, might as well bro. enjoy, you know, this this winter. You know, I'm think, never. Expe- I, mean, I think eventually cool. it'll get back to the same schedule, <sighs> but I think this next year will not be. I think you'll go all. It'll go all the way to. Whatever it does, yeah, yeah, yeah but if they, if they do move it back, it, it helps without like competing with college football, and that's the other thing is like NFL TV, or college, yeah. It, yeah, it gives it gives it more, you know, views, which is I and think we know people reason. like football more than basketball. But the okay, so, so the world I've lived in the last two years, right, living in Germany, coaching in, in the Bundesliga, yeah, it screws up that whole uh, young players who might not make the NBA but don't uh, really want to go overseas. Mm, they can't yeah. wait. So you've got a lot of guys this year that are already in Europe. Yeah. That I think probably would have stayed in the G League right. if they could have gone to training camp. Yeah. yeah got a you know, exhibit ten contract or whatever, and now they're in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's yeah, it's crazy. Gonna, that's that's the other thing. It's gonna affect a lot of that shit. College too. Like who knows what they're man. College is. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, what was life like over there? That's what I want to know. Like, what was you? Yeah, eating? where? Yeah, you're in Germany, right? Like, what yeah, was you what city? I mean, what I was eating? Yeah, I'm vegan. So you what? I went vegan uh, <laughs> last June. Why? Uh, it's healthy. Last June? No, like no, a few no. months ago? No, 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 no. June, <laughs> June, June, June 2019, 2019. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so a year. So you've been on it for some time. Yeah. So like over a year. Uh, why did I go vegan? Because. It all started with a movie, of course. Like that's that's kind of like I watched the what documentary, uh, "What the Health." Oh my God, really? So I'm saying that's where, that's where it started. I okay. watched that too. And, 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 and then yeah. grabbed a bag of Oreos after. And <laughs> fixed a sandwich afterwards. Yeah, and all that. Like, come damn. on, man. And then we tried it out, and and uh, my wife was really into it, and she's a, a trained chef. So yeah. like I was eating really good. Oh, so, she, food so and okay, food. so she could, she can make it good for you. Yeah, wow. and then okay. and then we just kind of went with it. So it, it was hard in Germany. To yeah. eat vegan. Uh, what city? What's you up? In? Did you want any language? Like, what's up? Say something. I can count to ten. I, I no. I look. I could be in a conversation and I could understand, and you can understand it, it. That's but that's I couldn't be anything. conversation. Got it. Cool. Mm. That's not bad. Because most of the, uh, I mean, most people there. They're speaking English yeah, they too. could like the younger generation. I'd say if they're under fifty, they'll speak English to you. Got if they're it. over fifty, they they don't want to speak English. Alvidez, eh? No. <laughs> Did anything wild happen in the game out there? Alvidez. Alvidez. <laughs> yeah. Uh no, not really. Cause I hear stories. No, of his team is good, bro. His team. Is no, like, no, I'm not saying that. Ass. I'm just saying you the the arenas and stadiums and the crowds are way yeah. different over there. So we didn't play anywhere super crazy. Yeah. Like we played in the Champions League my first year there, and we went to Latvia, um, yeah, Russia, Oof. Poland, um, trying to France twice, Damn. Spain. Like so, it was like. Damn, you could be <laughs> moving. Yeah, that's we what I'm saying. Alive. But it's easy, that's nice. right? That's the best part of being yeah. there. You can go all over. And then we vac- at the end of the year, we vacationed in, in Italy, in Spain, Morocco. Oh, you got money. God damn. <laughs> you got money. You know how much it costs to fly to Mallorca from Germany? I don't know. 100 Mallorca. euros. No, that's not bad. You still got money, though, if you're doing all that. <laughs> that's <laughs> Everything's cool, though, all bro. close out there, man. It's, it's so much closer. Lifestyle is way different than... Man. Way yes. different. You probably... Like, so... Like, I mean... It, it was nice. Like, it I, was enjoyed, nice. I enjoyed living there. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. But... After a point, and I was warned about this, like, I was mm-hmm. told, like, uh, Nick told me, Nick Nurse, yeah. he was like, it's going to feel very far away. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking right, because it is. It's n- That's I why mean, it feels like that. Nine hours to the West Coast time difference, six hours to the East Coast. So no matter what, you're... You're just on opposite schedules. Yeah. and th- sucks. So you're waking up, people are still awake on the West but Coast. But they're getting ready to go to sleep. Right. And then, so you have to fit in a time to talk to people. It, it, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. You got to you got to start a life over there, little mm-hmm. kid. Keep you occupied. Yeah, Can- Canada Canada helped me out with the VPN stuff. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. being able to stream stuff. You know, yeah. Yeah. Slingbox yeah. and yeah. the yeah. VPN. You and need that, that over there. Yeah, clutch for sure. Clutch. But life is cool over there. It's yeah. just like it becomes tough after a little bit. So mm-hmm. yeah, yes. you start to get homesick. Yeah, a little, especially in the pandemic. I was sitting there. We Fuck. finished in March. Mm. You can't do anything. And I was there till the end of January. Till, or sorry, January. Till the end of July. Till my contract was up. Just yeah. chilling. So Just chilling. yeah, basically, chilling. we were doing workouts. Mm. A month in, we were back in the gym. Fuck, bro. That's what we're gonna be doing for the next however long. Is just be chilling. I mean, people gonna be working out, but I feel like we're gonna be. It's gonna be another nice little hiatus for us, bro. Because even that three yeah. months, I didn't know if we were gonna like come back. I was like, the season's over. There's no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> and then we end up really playing, and we're still going. But that's you just know, there's a way though. The NBA, it's too much money. So much yeah, money. We'll find too a way. Money. Always find a way. Yeah, bro. Good morning, good evening, good night. Yeah. Welcome to the show, what a wonderful delight. Uh. Yeah, Patsy and T-Rods, better chop up on the mic. Just sit back, have a laugh, catch a vibe, and enjoy the ride. Yeah.